Okay, this is the type of problem that students would have after um, studying order of operations. Uh, the directions say simplify uh, this expression, and what you want to do is you want to get it down so that there's only one number left, uh, whether, whether it be some sort of rational number or whatever it may be. Uh, that's what you want to get, it's just one number in the end. And as you already know, uh, the first step to order of operations is, is grouping symbols, which includes these parentheses, uh, as well as brackets or absolute value. And really, what's kind of uh, interesting about this problem is th this big division bar creates some sort of grouping symbols here. It kind of groups the top section here I into its own group, as well as the bottom section into its own group. That's kind of a trick about this problem, is that this division bar creates grouping symbols by itself into a top and a bottom. So we can actually work on the top and bottom separately because uh, you have to get each of them simplified before you can combine them. So for this problem, if I'm going to work on the top, my first step on the top, again, following order of operations, would be to do what's inside the parentheses first. And if I look inside the parentheses, I can either subtract or I can divide. So based on my order of operations, I know division and multiplication come before subtraction. So that's what I'm going to do first. So from the top of my fraction, I'll still have this 3 on the outside. Uh, I'll have 6 minus, and then an 8 m divided by 4 will be a 2. So that would be my first step on the top. On the bottom, uh, again, order of operations, grouping symbols. There are no additional grouping symbols on the bottom. Uh, and then I go to exponents. There is an exponent on the bottom, so I, I will leave everything else as it's written. 5 excuse me, 5 times 2 minus 9. 3 squared is 9. Okay. Again, on the top here, we're going to end up simplifying the inside of the parentheses to finish that um, step out. So we'll end up getting, whoop, we'll end up getting 3 times 4 for the top. And on the bottom, uh, again, multiplication will come before subtraction, so we will have 5 times 2 is 10, minus 9. Alright, our final step on top, 3 times 4 will be 12. On the bottom, 10 minus 9 is 1. For our final answer, 12 divided by 1 is 12 for our final answer.